hi guys okay i'm just recording this process because i think it might help someone this is what i'm encountering with this uh, nissan x trail 2006 uh, i woke up um, and i discovered that uh, the battery is flat um, i charged up the battery and uh, put it the terminals back on and it's just like less than two minutes the battery gets drains down to zero so i try to pull all the fuses one after the other remove them and this one the one on this side and the one inside the vehicle but the battery drain so fast that I do not even have enough time to pull out even two um, two, fuse, uh, two fuses so um, this is the battery that I had previously as you can see the terminals are kind of small or uh, smaller than this one because I bought a new one and the terminals are big so I had to change uh the the terminal logs and oh, i didn't change this one i just expanded it i stretched it and expanded it and it's able to fit this one now but this one i replaced it. it is a brand new one that i'm using for this positive terminal now um i was just trying to see exactly what is going on i used my obd2 scanner to scan the vehicle to see if i would pick up anything that is happening uh the only thing it picked up was the oxygen sensor right here that it was faulty i took that out i cleaned it up put it back in when i turn on the vehicle uh it doesn't bring the engine light any longer so um i was just trying to figure out exactly what i have i've got this uh, particular battery i put a terminal on it it drains it in less than a minute so i charge it up again and i was just trying to figure out exactly what is happening i'm going to show you what is going to happen i'm going to put this on and you'll see how the, the voltage is draining so i decided to remove this terminal on this alternator i first removed this one to see if there will be any change no nothing happened then i removed this uh, red terminal that connects to the battery that comes here and um that was when i discovered that the uh, the battery was not draining voltage or amps any longer so i decided to replace this i bought a new one which i'm going to show you now i've got to uh multimeter multimeters here and normally uh what normally happens is that when the diode is bad you will see a uh, reading going on both sides so the first thing i'm going to do here is to put uh, the ne negative terminal here and i'm testing this using this particular multimeter i'm not sure if it is very very good but i'm just going to use both that i've got as you can see the reading So I'm just going to hold it on for a while, as you can see it's just going up and down and at some point it may settle down at 1 or 2, as you can see, 2. Normally it should be around 500 and something. I'm going to swap it around, the positive and the negative and let's see if there will be reading on the other side flowing back into the battery. And there's still some reading so this seems to be an evidence that the diode inside this um, inside this uh, alternator is bad now I'm gonna use the second multimeter and see what I'm gonna do so what you normally do is you put it on the diode testing as you can see here that is the symbol for the diode right there and for this one as well that's the symbol right there so using my probe we test with the negative to the positive terminal here and then you put the positive on the case and you can see um, it's reading around 2 volt there or 0 0.002 or um, 0.0023 flock tweeting and let's change the probe terminal put the red on it so what this is proving is that voltage is going both ways draining the battery you can see it's still kind of reading 0 0.001 here all right as you can see on the other side it's still drawing voltage so that's a sign of bad alternator 
so what I'm going to be doing is I'll be getting this replaced now I've never done this before on the Nissan X-Trail but when it comes to just replacing things I don't think I have so much challenges in doing that good morning so all I just need to do is to remove some of these uh, bolts and uh, the terminals and get the other one to replace it so what i'm going to do now bring the second one that i just bought and i'm going to unbox it in real time it's a second hand but it is the pack number i'm going to show you where to get the pack number uh all right now you should whenever you want to replace your alternate or any part in your vehicle they all have part numbers so you need to look for that part number i was looking for the one for this alternator until i removed this terminal and i was able to find it just right underneath what i want to show you here is how the alternator drains the battery very quickly so that you see what's happening as i mentioned earlier it drains it so quickly that that you cannot have enough time to even pull all the fuses out probably before you pull out one the battery is already drained down to zero so I just want to share with you quickly I'm gonna put it on voltage this time around I'm not gonna put it on amps so that you can just see exactly what is happening here so now before I put this terminal on I'm gonna show you the reading The voltage is already come down actually okay I'm not sure uh, probably because of the first drain from this alternator and because uh, the terminal here is still a little bit close to it but I'm still gonna test it like that anyway and I'll just put it onto a quick charge uh, let me see what I can do all right so I have boosted the battery a little bit because earlier it was showing 10 point something and I think that's because the terminal was closer the red terminal was uh, the red log was uh, terminal log was closer to this particular battery positive terminal that's the reason why that was dropping so I've just used something to block it off now and I'm going to measure and see what we've got here so we've got 11.25 and as you can see it is stable the voltage is not dropping so the next thing i'm going to do i will pull the terminal on top of the red terminal and then we're going to do the reading and let's see what we've got now i'm not going to put this on for long because of the weight of this charge put this here All right, so I just put it on and let's see what we've got here. Can you see the rate at which it's dropping? 22, 20, 19, just like that. So I got to take this off immediately because it's just going to drain the battery. What I'm going to do now is test the alternator I just bought and then start uh, the process of replacing it. So, uh, So this is what I've got and for some reason they have not sent me exactly what I ordered basically and they intentionally tear off the uh, the part number what I can see what I was looking at so here is it I'm not sure there will be enough light here. It says 400, 400. But what I ordered, what was displayed was 40A. But they just made me to believe that this is going to work. And that is why they've sent this one. So this is quite a bit dodgy. This is not the exact part number that I ordered. But I'm hoping that it's going to work. If it works, I'm okay with that. If it doesn't work, then I can get it returned back to them. Alright guys, 
So this is my part number after I took out this red terminal. That's where my part number is, just right underneath. So for you as well, you may need to take it out to be able to find where the part number is, and that is what you need to use to replace the the part uh, for this alternator. As you can see, I've got AU40A, and if you see the LR11107-713B. Seven, but if you look at the one that was sent to me, okay, I'm gonna remove this terminal so that I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the replacement one, and as you can see, okay, it's not that the tear it; it's just that there's a water, there's a debt there. Yeah, so that's what I've gotten under this particular, on this particular label, and it's. 39k if, I look, if you look at the one I've got here clean this up as well I've got um, uh, AU 40A and it's 65R for now I'm not gonna be worried about it I'm just gonna replace it and see if it works if it works I'm not gonna replace it I'm not gonna send it back if it doesn't work then I'm gonna have it go at the seller because what I saw it was the AU400 uh, AU40A that was what I ordered on eBay when I ordered this part but uh, I've got a different package with a different part number uh, but I'm hoping that it's gonna work thank you guys let's see how it happens um, once I complete this um, replacement all right first thing let me get this tested I'm just gonna do this somewhere else all right so I just decided to put it on this um, uh, trash can to do the recording because I do not have enough space there so I'm gonna pull the, uh, the positive probe here first open the terminal and I'm gonna put this here as you can see it's not reading anything uh, just putting it all around and even the same spot where I put the LA one not reading and I'm gonna change the probe around as you can see it should only be working in one direction and let's put this on as you can see that's really which means that the uh, the diode for this one is working fine and just to check and this seems to be rolling properly well now as i said the part number is not really exactly what i ordered but so long as it works i'm okay with it all right guys here's the state that i am right now i've removed the tire and i've removed the part in here here's this one here there are some bolts that are holding it down i already have the bolt and this um, plastic nut taking them out and um so the next thing i'm gonna do is to start removing the terminal i'm gonna remove this terminal and then i'm gonna remove this that's where the part number is it's this button here and you'll be able to slide this out now before you do this make sure you remove the terminals personally i will remove all the terminals i don't just leave one or just take out the red or the black one i'll take out both of them so this is out now and i'm going to take these out as well and then later on i will come to this part and then i'm going to turn this around to release this belt to release the belt and I'm going to take out one of the belts in order to be able to take out the alternator easily all right guys I've just done the replacement but I've not put everything back as you can see this one is still loose and um, I've not tightened the bolt very well so what I want to do is just to make sure that it will not be draining the battery I have got to test the battery one more time before um, I put the terminals back okay so before I put um, the terminals back I want to test the battery to make sure the battery is still okay uh, <clears throat> as you can see it's just that um, 
10.9 to 1 right now it's not dropping so if I test put on the <clears throat> put on the terminals and it start dropping that means there's a problem somewhere that I need to figure out so let me go ahead and start putting up the terminal and I'm gonna put up the positive Put it to a test. Okay, it's not dropping, so it seems like uh, the fault is uh, by replacing the uh, the alternator. Uh, the fault is fixed, so I'm really really happy. Just push this down properly again. Yeah. That's that's it. You just buy, you just need to replace the alternator. That's looking really great right now. So I'm feeling happy. I'm gonna put everything back as per normal and put the uh, the car to the vehicle to a test. All right, guys. Uh, this is almost to the end of it. Um, I tested the battery earlier. As you can see, it worked fine. Now I noticed that uh, there's no way I could have taken out this alternator, the old one, without taking this part out. It was really very difficult to take out. I wanted to take this uh, panel off, but um, I couldn't take it out. It was a little bit difficult to get my wrench or my ratchet into that particular, uh, into the bolt there. So now I'm putting everything back in order. I'm gonna go underneath now and put the seat belt uh, <laughs> and put the belt back in position and then um, yeah we're gonna put uh, the car to a test full test by riding the vehicle and testing the alternator to make sure it charges the battery properly all right guys the engine is running I had to jump start it because the battery was already weak so I want to see how much voltage I'm doing right now which is kind of normal that's what we should be getting 14.51 that's really great that means the alternator is charging the battery and uh, this particular operation was a success so uh, I just felt this might be useful to somebody who is stuck in this kind of situation and using a Nissan x trail so very easy not that easy but you will need a lot of tools you're gonna need a lot of tools to actually change your um, uh, your alternator as you can see I've got a lot of tools on the floor here so that is remove the tire remove the panel right there and also use the pulley there to release the belt and also I remove this particular uh, this water coolant remove the uh, the panels, the strap here for the table remove the other one on the bottom so that's about it for now guys thank you guys and you can see all my tools right at the top I put some um, some lubricants for the uh, for the bolt as you can see so that it's going to be easy to replace next time thank you guys for watching cheers